Hey guys, Paul Ruddick here. Welcome to the Baseball Dads Podcast. And in this podcast, I'm going to talk about the single most important thing I think you need to teach your son about the actual game of baseball, not conceptual stuff, the actual game of baseball. So um, do you guys remember in the 2001 World Series when the Yankees were up, I think they were up two runs or one run, whatever it was, they had a lead and the Diamondbacks actually um, came back and won that game in the bottom of the ninth. Marion Rivera, I, I don't know if it was the first postseason save that he blew, but it was one of them right? And it was a big game, right? It was right after um, the tragedies on, on 9-11 and, and, you know, America was using baseball as a way to kind of, you know, take their minds off the things that were going on then. So it was, it was a big deal, you know, if the Yankees won that World Series, but it gave the New York, you know, the city of New York a great boost of spirit uh, at a time that they really needed it. And Mariano Rivera, I, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, kind of threw away a ball right back at him, kind of threw away, um, uh, I think it was Luis Gonzalez, uh, kind of pulled the pulled Derek Jeter off the bag, and he was safe. And then wound up giving up this like little blue. No, Luis Gonzalez got the hit, and he gave up the little blooper right that got in. And it's like kind of like this cheap hit, right? It, it, you know, off of you know, if it was hit anywhere else in the field, it would have been caught by one of the infielders. But it was like perfectly placed, and uh, Mariano blew a save. And um, you know, a couple of years later, I don't know if you remember, the Red Sox came back. The Yankees were up 3 nothing. Red Sox came back and took four straight from the Yankees. And one of those famous moments was, was a ball got hit back and Rivera got knocked down on the mound. It was kind of like very symbolic of the Yankee dynasty um, crumbling at the time, even though they came back and won again in 2009. But it was that team that was, you know, in the mix really every year. And the reason why I bring up those two things is that Rivera was, by all accounts, the greatest reliever that ever lived, one of the greatest players that ever lived, a guy who understood the pressure of situations um, and was able to remain calm and poised under all of them. And we hear about all the times that he came through, but there are two very, very famous times where he didn't come through, where he blew the save. In in And probably he makes those two saves and the Yankees win two more World Series. That probably, If they win those two World Series, that probably makes them maybe the greatest team ever. Because that would have been what seven World Series that would have, they would have run in that ten or fifteen year span, um, it would have made them one of the greatest teams ever. Every time I'm out speaking, whether it be at a camp, a clinic, speaking to a team, coaches convention, whatever it is, I always get asked, "What's the one thing that we should teach kids about the game of baseball?" And I know what they're looking for. I know they're looking for a baseball thing. They're not looking for like five, six, seven. Even though I think that's the most important thing, they're looking for a hardcore baseball tactic. And um, there are certainly things in hitting and in pitching that I would say are most important to teach um, if you were going to do one thing. You know, certainly in, in hitting, I would say the one thing would be to, to understand to get to get a good pitch to hit and to train that. In pitching, I would focus on the first movement of the pitcher, making sure that's effective. But I'm going to tell you, that's not the answer that I give because I don't think it's the most important thing. Because the most important thing is, is really a shift in the way that we look at the game. And the way that we play the game, especially now as our seasons are getting longer and the demands of our players are getting greater and the pressure is getting more intense on our players, there's, I always answer this question with one simple word. And if you, wanted to set, if you wanted to sum up the game of baseball and how to succeed in the game of baseball, I would take this word and I would have it put in your dugout, in your locker room, uh, you know, post it to your kid's wall, put it on the mirror um, in, his, in his bathroom so he sees it all the time. And I answer that question with one simple word. Again, get your kids to understand that the way to succeed in this game is the word again. Because it, this is not the type of game that you can kind of rest back on your laurels or success. The game keeps moving and the game is every day. And the game is tough. We've heard all the cliches, right? You, you, you win half your games as a pitcher, you're a Hall of Famer. You make seven out of ten outs and you're a Hall of Famer. We, we get all that, right? We've heard all those. Have those cliches really ever helped anyone? Did anyone who made an out come back to the dugout and the coach say, you know, Hall of Famers make out seven out of 10 times. Oh, that's good. I don't feel bad about making it out now. Has that ever happened in the history of baseball? No, right? That never, made, talking about the difficulty and the odds of the game never make anybody feel better. But if we can get our players and get our sons to adopt this idea of again, 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 that's the whole game. The whole game is, is doing it, but doing it again. So if you're a pitcher and you make a great pitch, fine, it's strike one. Guess what? You get the ball back. Yeah, there's a change in the count, but you still have to do it again. If you make a bad pitch and the hitter rips a double into the gap, 
you have to get the ball back. You have to compose yourself and you have to pitch again. If you pitched a good inning, you're going to go back out there and pitch again. If you pitched a bad inning, you're going to have to go back out there and pitch again. If you're a hitter and you foul off a ball right down the middle of the plate that you should have ripped, you've got to get back in the box, refocus, and hit again. If you miss a pitch, if you swing at a bad pitch, you got to do it again. you got to get back in the box and hit again. If in your first at-bat you hit a three-run home run uh, in, over the left center field wall and it's an absolute bomb, that does not carry over into your next at-bat. Three innings later, two innings later, you're going to have to get up again. If you played a great game yesterday, you are going to have to get up, put on your uniform, and play to today again if you're marion arvera and you blew a save and you blew the world series at such a crucial time you have to dust yourself off and you got to come back and get in that game again if you lose the to the red Sox and you lose four in a row and you get knocked down and symbolic uh, of the yankee dynasty crumbling you have to get back up on that mound and pitch again no matter what the ba- the game of baseball is going to keep coming at you and the, the more you can understand that the game is again 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 to not get too low when you fail and not get too high when you can s- succeed that is how you are going to win the race the endurance test that we call baseball now baseball is not a physical endurance sport right yes we have to have a certain amount of physical endurance to play the sport we have to have a base of functional strength and all that stuff to support the hitting and pitching mechanics that we have but more so it is a mental endurance sport because it's every day it keeps coming at you it is going to show up every day again baseball you're gonna have to play another game again if you are if you sweep through a tournament and you win a tournament and you kick you know the living daylights out of every team next weekend you have another tournament again again Again, baseball doesn't stop. It keeps coming. And the players that understand this about the game are the ones that succeed. We don't want our players too high. We don't want our players too low. We want them focused on that. This game, the the memory of this game is short, that we can execute everything right and not produce a result. I'm not talking about the cliche is that you can hit a line drive and it's right at someone. You could do everything right and fail. I'm talking about that we can produce in our offense Uh, Let's say we get guys who get three singles in in an inning, and we got bases loaded, nobody out, and 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 then the next pitch, guy hits a ground ball back to the pitcher, and all of a sudden, you you know, there's there's a double play, and there's two outs, and the next guy pops up, and two pitches, we executed three things perfectly, two things wrong, and we did not produce a result, we did not put a run on the board. Guess what? The next time our offense comes up, you have that offense has to get up, shake it off, not get too high, not get too low, and it has to produce again. Coaches, dads, if you can get, if you want your kids to succeed long term in this game, to to not to be mentally resilient to the ups and downs and kind of the blows that this game delivers, it comes down to one word, and that word is again, 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 again. Next week we will have back here filming a podcast again. um so this is a shorter one for us but i I hope i hope a real powerful one for you that you can really kind of get and and absorb this because if you can get your team to rally around this cry of again you will see them kind of especially the more players you can get uh into it if it's a, a solo thing it doesn't work as well as if the whole team adopts this as their mantra that again no matter what comes our way we are coming back again if you strike out the side against us our offense is getting up and we're going to stick to our plan and our offense is going to come back again if you make an error hit the next ball to me because i will come back and i will feel that one again if i throw a ball away hit the ball to me again i am going to make the throw again if you hit a home run and you come back come back come, i'm going to come up and i'm going to hit stick with the same plan i'm not going to let it get to my head and i am going to hit again 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 that is the game of baseball that's how we we get through this mental endurance test that we have chosen in this game of baseball. All right, guys. So we'll be back next week. Like I said, again, hope you enjoyed this week's uh, podcast, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.